trucker hats have been part of American culture since they sprang up in the 1960s as promotional giveaways by companies like John Deere. Also known as a gimme cap or feed cap, the style became popular with everyone from truckers to farmers and other wool workers who got them for free with logos from haulage and U.S. feed farming supply companies according to Acme Hat Company. Made up of a broad front, adjustable pla plastic mesh at the back, trucker hats were less expensive to manufacture than baseball caps and fit almost anyone. Trucker hats borrowed from earlier brim hats such as jockey caps, military pillbox caps, and fedoras from the 1930s through the 1950s. Truckers often wore a type of peaked cap known as a mechanics cap, according to Vogue magazine. Some of the some say the rise of televised sports TV shows in the 1960s and 70s contributed to the acceptability of baseball hats and trucker hats for everyday wear. Many point to actor Tom Selleck regularly, regularly sporting the Detroit Tigers baseball cap in the Magnum PI TV series in the 1980s as a watershed event for men's headwear. In recent years, trucker hats got a boost from Hollywood star Ashton Kutcher, known for that 70s show and MTV's Pump, who wore trucker hats on almost every episode of every show, according to a 2003 article from the New York Times. The Van Dutch Apparel Company also made trucker hats hot in the early 2000s. Its trucker hats, which cost anywhere from $40 to $125, became famous covering the heads of celebrities such as Paris Hilton, Jay-Z, and Britney Spears. Today, trucker hats are almost exclusively worn by the working class truckers and farmers, though they are worn by everyone from hipsters to fashionistas. While expensive versions may be in the signal status, the affordability of a trucker hat, as well as its usefulness in fighting bad hair days, has helped it remain a popular item of attire in American society.